Hey YouTube, Inside Tech, and today we're going to show you how to uh, set the settings in the BIOS for your G75 with the RAID 0 on uh, solid state drives. So um, go to Advanced and um, check out your uh, SATA configuration. Make sure it's set to uh, RAID as you can see up there and the view is kind of restricted here but um, you still get the point um, you're going to want to uh, launch the CSM enabled and then save and exit now when it says uh, control I, I'm going to go into uh, delete the RAID volume that I have so I can show you how to set this back up. So you press delete for deleting the RAID volume. You want to continue, yes. Going to create the RAID volume. Going to use the um, standard label, or you can uh, enter something that um, you want to enter. I'm going to choose the uh, standard label. I'm going to do stripe. You can change that if you want to mirror. I'm going to up this to 120 kilobytes stripe size for performance. Press enter again. That's the capacity that we're looking for. Going to create the volume. Going to press Y for yes and it's all set there. So, going to press escape. Are you sure? Of course we're sure. Now I've already got the CD in there. I'm going to boot from the CD. This says uh, uh, Windows 7 64 bit. Now on the, um, I got a Patriot flash drive here with the drivers on. For a RAID, you can download that from the uh, Intel uh, website. Again, this is the G75V, also known as the G75VW. And here we go. Going to select English, United States, US, blah, blah, blah. Click Next. Going to press the uh, Install Now. Accept the terms, blah, blah, blah. Press next, kind of press the custom. Now here's the point where you uh, install your USB flash drive. And you see here it says uh, load the driver. We're going to look for that. Press browse. Um, removable disk. Drop that down. I believe this uh, F6 FLPY dash X64 is the uh, correct driver. Let's find out. It does say the uh, Intel R Mobile Express chipset. Say it I read. Controller. Blah blah blah. Press next.
Okay, uh, this is simple here. Um, just press next and it'll uh, format and partition as needed. And now we'll just start loading uh, Windows. This process here is going to take about uh, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 at the most, depending on the speed of your machine. And um, it's recommended you leave the uh, USB uh, drive in there uh, throughout the process. And I'll check back here in a minute once this is done and show you a couple more settings. So, get back to you in a minute.